Hello, everyone. Let's ask Boyge time. Today's question and drawing from Brazil. From Flav. Hi, dear Boyge Sensei. You can call me Flav. I'm from Brazil, and I'm some kind of aspiring mangaka artist. I am 17 years old and love your work. Thank you for being one of my inspirations. Thank you, Flav. I always have some of your manga books on my table to look at them and never give up. That's great. There's no reason to give up. My question is, what should I do after finishing high school? What did you do? Did you start to draw manga, or did you make an art academy first? I don't know what should I do after high school so I want to know what you did. Thank you for everything. We love your work. I want to be like you. Sorry for the bad English, I'm not fluent. I made a Rusui sketch. Sorry for the bad art, I made it as quick as I could. Maybe is good enough. You drew Rusui very nicely. I'll draw Rusui that Flav drew after answering his question. And don't apologize for not being good at English. I don't speak English either. My friend translates my words into English on YouTube. You know, I live in Japan, but I don't speak Japanese. I gave up studying languages to concentrate on drawing manga. Now, it's time to answer Flav's question. What should aspiring manga artists do after graduating from high school to become a mangaka? Should we go to college? Or would it be better to find a job? And what did Boyge do after high school? For me, after graduating from high school, I enrolled in university and pursued a major in physics. I aspired to become a science fiction mangaka. I believed that focusing on the genre of science fiction required a deep understanding of science. So I opted for physics as my university major. Of course, I had been drawing manga extensively before university. Even with the academic challenges, I kept my passion for drawing manga alive, never wavering in my dedication to studying the art of drawing. Regardless of whether you opt for college or pursue a job after high school, it's crucial to keep drawing to hone your manga skills. There are various paths you can take after high school. One option is to dedicate yourself entirely to manga creation. You forego part-time jobs or pursue further education and focus solely on your manga work to debut as quickly as possible. This approach is often the fastest way to become a mangaka. Alternatively, you could choose to attend an art college specializing in comics or animation. Choosing to major in physics aligns with my ambition to become a science fiction mangaka. Similarly, if your goal is to create historical manga, such as stories about Vikings, Roman civilization, or the story of legendary heroes, pursuing a major in history at university could provide valuable insights and inspiration for aspiring manga artists from around the world, particularly those with a strong desire to work in Japan, there's likely a significant aspiration. You may dream of becoming a mangaka in Japan or simply wish to learn manga techniques in the home of manga. In pursuit of this dream, attending a Japanese language school, studying the language, and planning a move to Japan become necessary steps. There are various paths to learning manga in Japan, including dedicating yourself solely to manga creation, enrolling in college, or planning a move to Japan. Each option has its own advantages and disadvantages, so it's essential to weigh them carefully. Depending on your goals and approach, your life path can vary significantly. Before making decisions about your next steps in life, it's crucial to ask yourself some serious questions. Do you aim to become a manga artist quickly? Do you aspire to be a manga artist known for creating compelling stories? Are you seeking recognition as a top-tier writer within a specific genre, even if you're not widely popular? Is your dream to become a mangaka in Japan? Would you prefer to pursue manga artistry in your own country? Or perhaps you envision becoming a mangaka in a country other than Japan? There are numerous paths one can take. And your post-high school plans can vary greatly depending on your circumstances. If you aim to reside in Japan, you're aware that I currently live in Japan. If your goal is to settle in Japan, specifically, 
To study manga here, I would recommend pursuing higher education. When applying for a working visa in Japan, authorities typically inquire about your job experience and educational background. It's essential to understand that obtaining a working visa in Japan can be quite challenging. However, pursuing a college or university education in Japan may present an alternative avenue. Ultimately, the decision rests with you. As I've mentioned earlier, there are both advantages and disadvantages to consider in each option. Perhaps it's time to reflect more deeply on your dreams and future, carefully considering which path to pursue. Considering the advantages and disadvantages of your decision is crucial. With dedication and perseverance in studying manga, you can eventually realize your aspirations. So, don't be too anxious. Remember, you vow not to give up. Therefore, don't give in to doubt. The key to achieving your goals lies in never giving up. Work hard in your studies and artistic endeavors to pursue your dreams. Keep pushing forward. All right. Flav drew a really cool picture of Rusui and sent it to me. You did an excellent job, Flav. I really like the lines, they're very nice. And look at Rusui's signature smiling face. This is great, really well done. Now, I'm going to draw Rusui based on Flav's drawing. The outfit Rusui is wearing is an early design I created when he woke up from petrification. I absolutely adore your drawing of Rusui's facial expression and outfit. Rusui has a very appealing body shape, and his arms highlight that. I think you are a big fan of Rusui. You captured the characteristics of Rusui very well in your drawing. Great work, Flav. And thank you for sending me such a wonderful drawing.
Alright. Thanks for watching. Happy manga drawing, everyone.